Hello everyone, I hope you all are doing amazing. Welcome to my channel Best Math. I am Justin, your math teacher. We will start with the EOT written part, that is the part 2 for the term 3 exam questions. This is for the grade 10 advance and we begin with the question 16 that is to divide polynomials by using long division. Now your EOT questions are from 1 to 10. We will start one by one. Now, first thing is you need to look into the given question. You don't need to apply long division to all the problems. Say, for example, here, you have a numerator, denominator. Look at this. This is a monomial. It's a single term. There is nothing plus or minus to it. It's not like plus 2 or minus 3, nothing like that. So whenever we have monomials, the division is very simple. You can divide this by each of the above terms. So this will become 15y cube divided by 3y plus 6y squared divided by 3y plus 3y divided by 3y. What just happened is we did distribute your property. We just divide them throughout and now simplify them. For the numbers, you can use the calculator. That's 3, 1 times, 3, 5 times. 3, 1 times, 3, 2 times. And here 3, y 3, y cancels off as just 1. And what about this? The numerator power minus the power whatever is down. If there is nothing, it's 1, isn't it? So 3 minus 1. So we have 5, number 5. y 3 minus 1 is 2. Plus, we have 2 remaining in the number section. And 2 minus 1 is 1. Or you can just leave it. Plus 1. And that is the answer. Such a simple problem. This is because it was by monomials. You can see the written solution over here. Now, here they have done detailed steps. The question is written everything. In your exam, you can just write the same question. Write it how I split it out. This is by distributive property or sum of quotients. And then you solve for the powers, you know, 3 minus 1, 2 minus 1 and so on. And then lastly, you write over here the final answer. Similarly, please do try this by yourselves because these are very simple. We will go to the long division problems. But before that, if you see power one, minus 1, that is inverse. What is the inverse of x? It's basically 1 by x or it is x power negative 1. So what happens is this term, since it's having negative power, exponent negative 1, it becomes the divisor it is basically 4y squared it goes to the new denominator from the numerator it goes to denominator and the power becomes positive so basically how we write this is i will show you over here so this is how we write it this entire term divided by 4f squared and then you split it out evenly throughout each terms and then solve for the powers and also the numbers. Numbers can be done in calculator, but they are simple. You can just do it in um, your mind itself. And the, be careful with the exponents. Upper exponent minus the lower exponent. Now, if at all you're thinking, what if I have, uh, say over here it is 3 and over here it is 4. Then that is going to be f minus 1 because 3 minus 4 will be minus 1 or you can just write it as 1 by f this is how we write it so it'll be in the denominator and then you can simply solve it up try this as well doesn't matter you have many terms as long as there is no plus and minus it's just a single term it's monomial and you can solve it over here all the step-by-step -step methods is shown here as well, it's again a monomial. It's just, it's having power 2. Just be careful with the powers and then solve it up. This one will require long division. Why? Because it's not monomial anymore. It's a binomial. Now, how we solve such problems is, this is the divisor, the dividend. So, what I do is, I just write like this. And whatever is given to be divided, n squared plus 7n plus 10, write it out over here. And what are you dividing it with? The divisor is n plus 5. Now, you need to be very careful. To start, you need to start with this first term and this first term. Now, what do you do with those terms? You need to multiply this outer 
this term n plus 3 only the n must be multiplied by some number over here some number or term so that these both will be equal so what do you multiply this with if i multiply with 1 i'll get n no i need n power 2 so if i multiply it with n n times n would be n square that's the thing and then it's not over the next term is 5n right plus sorry plus 5 multiply it with n it will be plus 5n this is how you get these terms if you're thinking okay what if you have complicated terms over here how will i get it if you have say 2 and stuff over here it's fine the another way to remember this is whatever is there inside this what you're dividing write it over here n squared and what is outside divide by that and what is the answer over here it'll be 2 minus 1 so it's n so this is this term when we see a complicated uh, problem you will understand this method is much easier now then once we have done so much we need to solve them up how do we solve this we change the signs of this in the sense if this is positive we it's no sign that means it's positive we change it to negative and this is already positive becomes minus or some just erase these signs and make them minus minus it's up to you just remember these two terms change their sign now n squared minus n squared add them up plus and plus add them up n squared plus minus n squared is zero that's gone now plus 7n minus 5n 7n plus minus 5n will be plus 2n and now this is done but you have to bring whatever is next down and that will be plus 10 now what do we do we repeat it look over here this is 2n isn't it so i need to multiply a number to n so that i get 2n so what i can do is this term divided by n is equal to what 2 so if i multiply this with 2 what sort of 2? Plus or minus 2? This is plus 2n. So I have to multiply with plus 2. n times plus 2 is 2n. 5 times 2 is plus 10. And now change the signs over here. It becomes plus 2 minus uh, 2n. 2n minus 2n, 0. Plus 10 minus 10 is 0. So this is done. You took the last term. You're done with it. This is the remainder. So remainder is 0. So if you divide n squared plus 7n plus 10 by n plus 5, you're going to get n plus 2. And this is a factor. These both are factors of this particular term. So this is how you do long division. Now we will do one more problem where there is a remainder in a while. But there are some things you must remember. See, you always start dividing with a degree 1 term. So whatever is the degree of your given question, this one is n squared, right? So remember your answer will be 1 less than this degree. So if it's n squared, this will be n. If imagine this was n to the power of 4 plus n cubed, just, just an example, okay? And you're dividing this with n plus 5. Then whatever your answer over here will be having n power 3 and then so on. it might have n power 2 it may not have also but no matter what it must have n cube as the degree one less than the dividend so this is one thing it uh, you know this is important to know whether your answer is true and once you reach a constant term right it's done when you reach a number it's done so now if you're solving this you'll come like this say n plus 3 this is a constant there's no variable that means that's the end you will reach the remainder at that time. So these are the things to remember. But most important is practice. Okay. The more you practice, the more easy it becomes. You can see that the detailed method is over here. And that is what we also got. N plus 2 is the correct answer. So that is the quotient. Quotient means after dividing the answer you get. Now here this also doesn't have remainder. It's just that this is the divisor. So you're dividing by d plus 1. And you can see that's how we do it and this is also pretty straightforward let me do this one i think so this has a remainder but anyways if it doesn't have we will do one more so let me first write 2t to the power 2 plus 13t plus 15 
divided by t plus 6. Now, what do I need to multiply? So I know I, this is a number over here, 2, right? So I have to multiply 2 no matter what. But 2 times t is just 2t. I need squared, so I have to multiply it with 2t. So t times 2t is 2t squared, or you just do 2t squared divided by t, you get this. And what about the next term? 6 times 2 is plus 2l t. And change the signs here. This is going to cancel off. It's 0, so I'll just ignore that part. Over here, it'll be 12, 13 minus 12, that is 1t only, t to the power 1. So that is it. Bring the next term down, it's plus 15. Now what next? We have t here, we have t here. So what are you going to multiply it with? There must be a number. It's 1 because t times 1 is t itself. And 6 times 1 is 6. Now we change the signs, this cancels off. But what happens here is 15 minus 6 is 9. So the remainder is 9. So your quotient is... 2t plus 1, yes, but there is a remainder, so plus 9, but you just can't write plus 9, that doesn't make sense, is it the quotient itself, no, this divided by the divisor, t plus 6, this is how we write it, now if you know the number division, long division, this is how we write the fractions, the same way, let me just give you an example, 6 divided by 4, so what is the answer? It's 1 times 4, over here you get 2, so it is, the remainder is 2, you can't continue it further, right? What is the answer? The answer, the quotient is 1, but is it just 1? No, 6 divided by 4 is how much? 1.5. So how do you write this? So whatever is the remainder, so plus, the remainder is there, right? Divided by the divisor. So this is 1 plus half or one, one and a half, or you can write it as 1.5. This is how we do it. If you put in the calculator, you directly get 1.5, but this is the method. Same way we follow here. This is the remainder. Two is the remainder here, divided by four. Here we have nine, the remainder, divided by t plus six. I hope this is clear. So this is how we write the quotient with the remainder. And you can see the remainder is nine, and this is how we finally write it out. So please do try the other problems by yourselves. They are worked out over here. Some do not have remainder. Some do have remainder. Let me just check this one because uh, here it seems to... So you have... Let me just solve it up over here. 6y squared plus y minus 2. And over here it's 2y minus 1. So what I would suggest is don't blindly trust the solution sets. Just... Then for a while, solve it by yourselves and then check the answers because I'm, I'm not sure about these signs, you know. So let me just check it. Over here, you need to multiply it with 2 times 3 will be 6 and y over here, it will be 6y squared minus 3y. Now we change these signs, this cancels off and this becomes from minus to plus. We have to change to the opposite sign. If it's minus, it becomes plus. So y plus 3 will be 4y and bring this down over here it becomes negative 2. So 2 ta 2y you have to multiply with 2 so 2y times plus 2 will give you 4y and minus over here it will be minus 2. So the mistake over here was this is plus y. Now we change the signs over here so this 4y minus 4y is 0 and minus 2 plus 2 is 0. So the remainder is zero. The answer is correct here, but it's just that this sign over here had to be plus. Say over here, this one, it's a plus sign. And then we change the signs, okay? The signs will be changed, this will be minus and this will be plus. And uh, that's the answers here also. Please do try it by yourself. Okay, now this is an important thing which we must remember here. So you can see there is 4g squared minus 9 and if we divide it by 2g plus 3 we get an error then let us try this 2 times over here 2g so it becomes 4g squared and what happens over here 3 times 6g so it's plus now do we how do we solve we change the signs 
And what do we do now? Is it minus 9, minus 6G? This is having a variable. This is a constant. We can't add them up. Here, if you look at the question, the term with degree 1 is missing. After degree 2, there must be degree 1, right? That is missing. So for the missing terms, what we need to do is we add them as a 0 times G. This variable. Now this is 0, so we can ignore it. If we add 0 G, that doesn't make any difference over here. It's the same value. This is the same value, even if you add any number of 0 Gs. And then we write minus 9. So here it is minus 6, 0 minus 6 is minus 6 G. And then bring this down, minus 9. And now you solve it up. You need to multiply how much? Negative sign is there. It means negative 2 times 3. So it will be minus 6G over here. And what about this? 3 times minus 3 is negative 9. Now when you solve it up, the sign changes. Cancels, cancels, 0 remainder. So yes, this is the answer. So this is how we solve them up. And last problem over here, please do try it by yourselves and then look into the solution set. So that's the end of this topic. I hope you found this helpful. Please do try to solve many more problems by yourselves. All these problems, whatever worked out, after watching the video, try them again by yourselves because your exam questions will be similar to this, whatever is given over here. And if you have any doubts, any questions, please post them in the comments. And if you see some questions and if you know the answers to it, please do try answering your friends' questions. I'll see you all in the next video. Bye-bye for now.